Hi everyone, so um, I'll be reviewing today the uh, new Diamond Press kits that will be available on HSN. Um, these items were sent free of charge from my review and all opinions are my own. And any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you were purchasing items through those links. So as you know, the next craft day on HSN is May 4th. Um, full disclosure, I don't know when this video will go out, but uh, if the links are available, I will have them in the description box and I'll update the links as they go along because sometimes HSN releases things a little bit earlier and so the link might be there for you uh, if you want to use that. Um, and I appreciate it, so thank you. <laughs> um, so today, what I have is the uh, card kits and they're, one is called Birthday and the other one is Butterfly Garden. So let me pop these open real quick. Diamond Press is just bring the cutest things, so I know um, there's a lot to look forward to. So uh, let's see here. So let's open this up. You know what? What I'm gonna do? How cute! Look how pretty this is already. I love their little binders, like the, the cutest. Oh yeah, it is a binder. I was gonna say maybe it's a box because it's a card kit. But let me put that down. What I'm gonna do is this one open so we can take a quick peek, and then I'm gonna take the plastic off because I know it, that sound isn't everyone's cup of tea. Oh, it's not even that pleasant pulling it out of the box here for you. Look how cute though. I love the stripes on this. Ah, adorable. So this is the birthday and this is the butterfly garden, but let me open them up and I'll be right back. Hey. All right, well, let's start with butterfly. And um, it does have this piece here that keeps it, you know, nice and straight for you guys. So when you get it home, it's not getting like squished down or anything like that. It's just there to protect it. My goodness. <laughs> I can see from the side, I'm like, whoa, it's all the cards. This is, oh my gosh, how fun. Have you ever seen, something? I've never seen something like this. Like, you know, they have their tag kits, but I've never seen cards. <gasps> is that a stamp set? Okay, I don't know anything about these things. So you guys know when they send them in, I don't open it. Like I said, the links, um, you know, when I'm doing this video are not available there yet. So I have no idea what yeah, this Sorry, is. so I have no idea what this uh, looks like or what was in it or anything like that. So I'm going to kind of go to the middle of it, which is here yeah and then we'll flip around like that because yeah this is <laughs> so cute okay so i can see we have some foil toppers and uh, you can see there you go there's that foiling really pretty nice size um you know what before i even get to moving forward i think these are a2 size this is so cute uh yeah five and a half so i'm assuming it's four and a quarter the other way yep so a2 size cards oh my gosh so you have your, like a your rectangular, this is a rectangular, but it's not as, you know, froofy on the sides there as this one. We have this really pretty foiled topper with the line, the little floral lines are, let me get in here a little bit closer. So pretty. And then we have this rectangular one with the little outline there. Of course, these are made so they mat into the A2 size nicely. Um, we have this guy. Let me see how cute I was thinking if you can put one on top of the other too. And there's a full, oh, a couple of full stamp sets. Um, I think you can see with the colors. Look how cute. I love their color carriers. So we have thanks for everything or they're separate. So thanks then for everything, for your kindness, uh, for your love and kindness. Sorry. Thinking of you. We have cute little like swirly things we can put on there. A happy birthday to say just a little note. Best wishes. Congrats on your comp and then we have on your accomplishment on your wedding on your new baby. You did it just a note Happy anniversary just because love you. How cute is that? Okay, and then um, envelopes 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 Let's check these envelopes out right quick Cute little envelope just want to see there it is. <laughs> I'll keep one out for and we'll remake the card there. Card bases. So it looks like there's two, four, six, eight, ten of each one. I'll open these right quick just so we can take a look at them. Again, nice matte card stock. More of a medium weight card. Can you feel that? Look at this one. Ooh, I like that. I love that color with the black and white stripes and of course gorgeous pink flowers. I'll grab one of those. So pretty. And then this one here. I guess you can see them through the plastic packaging. I'm not sure why I'm pulling each one out, but there it is. Look at that. So pretty. Oh, we have a little carrier there. And then this one, this oh, knockout. I just love that. With the dark, the black background with the pretty flowers. 
Love that kind of thing. And this one's a little more, I don't know why I feel like geometric, even though it's butterflies. Something about the pattern, uh, or maybe the style of butterfly, reminds me of more geometric things. But I suppose because they're kind of like a little different. So pretty, little pink background. Oh, and then on here we have uh, the envelopes. Sorry, the carrier there. Uh, pink envelopes. So you have the pink and that pretty blue over here. So, so cute. So basically you can just, you know, do your sentiment. You have your topper, put it on your card, and you have a quick card that's very pretty. Let me put this to the side. Oh, I'm running out of space here. I'll be right back. Okay. Open this up, start opening. I'm like, oh, I haven't hit record. <laughs> Hold on. Let me move this to the side here. I forgot what I was doing. All right. Let's open this guy up. All right. So this side we have the um, blue topper, as you can see. Really pretty, I would say primary colors, but as you can see, the blue is a little more muted. So it's not like a super bright, like in your face palette. It's just pretty, you know, it's playful, but it's uh, a little more subdued. With the yellow and the gold frame, how cute is that? We have the green uh, frame with the little notches there, with that foiling, everything has foiling. We have these pieces here. A little more like a plaque, um, like a plaque kind of look to it. Um, I like this one too. Has that plaque look to it. So cute. Let me see something here. So these do have a slight shimmer to them. Oh, you can see that. Um, more of like a, I would say like a sheen, because you can see it's not shiny, but it does have a little shimmery look to it. What's the word for that? I need to think about it. <laughs> I'll put that there. Um, and then our stamps again. Congrats. Hip hip hooray. You did it. Wow. Smile. Thanks. Hello. And then the little stars. So cute. Thank you. Birthday wishes. Thank you. Happy birthday to you. We have yay. We're so proud of you. And then we have the kind of a deeper blue envelope on this side. And then we have our cards, and I'm not gonna pull each one out because that did take a little time, but um, we have the blue card base with the little polka dots, or like confetti more than, not so much polka dots, because those would be more uniform, right? The little confetti. Um, we have this green with the little stars. So cute. Actually, my daughter made a star the other day and she was so excited that she finally got to make those kind of stars or understood how to make them. Um, we have the little card here with the um, kind of like scallop, ruffle, however it is, um, in the rainbow colors. So cute. Love it, love it. And then the stripe, just like the packaging, which is adorable. And then you saw that the other one had the butterflies and also had the butterfly cards. Love that. Oh, no. I love it. <laughs> so cute. I love balloon animals. Look at this. Look at this little bunny. Oh, my gosh, little monkey. That is so adorable. Oh, the elephant. Super cute. And then we have um, envelopes that are pink. So um, what I'm going to do is put together a card for you guys. It seems like they are pretty quick to come together when you have the stamping, you already have the topper, and then you just pop it on your card base. So I am going to actually bring out one other thing, and hopefully that's okay. <laughs> I have this, and I was curious, and I'm wondering if this would be a nice set to use it with. The Die and Press Alphabet dies. This is called the Floral Insert. And let me open this up because I am very curious to see these. <laughs> I guess that's the other thing. And um, I think they'd be cute with a little kind of monogram maybe with one of these plaques in the background or something. I mean, I don't know. Let's see here. Oh, yes. Okay. So let me open this up real quick. So these, I was curious as far as the insert part. I'm like, floral insert for an alphabet. I am intrigued. So um, basically we have the alphabet here. It does come with, I was wondering if it's gonna be the smaller um, folder because that's all you need for this. So, and if you have the smaller diamond press little mini here, you can put that in there. You can also put these in the marquee. So either way. Um, so we have our lettering. And then if you want to either layer it up or just you know have a letter that has the die uh, cut into it, however you would like to use it, but it has these different pieces. So uh, what they're showing you is that we have our letters, which let me measure for you guys. Oops, sorry, I think I might've hit the, 
This is about one and a half inches. It probably is exactly one and a half inches, just a little over. Uh, tall and then the width obviously depends on the, the letter, like this one's much wider than, you know, your A or whatever. But you have your letters and then you have these little guys that we can um, also use. So it says what you want to do is cut the letter shape out and then you place one of the decorative dies and then run it through. So again, you can layer them up. This is, you know, plain alphabet with nothing cut. You can just do the starburst alphabet. Oh, oh sorry. sorry. I thought, oh, this must be an auto ship or something. But no, what it is that there's different ones that you can pop in. That is so cool. So, okay, we have the plain alphabet. We have starburst alphabet, ivy alphabet, modern floral alphabet. And then like the starburst and the plain or ivy and plain or mix them however you want, modern and plain. So if you look at these... Um, the, each style has the same, uh, you know, insert. So like this insert here, this one that would, would you, uh, I'm getting all tongue tied today. With this one, you would no use it for pretty much every letter, as you can see. And unless you need something that's rounded, like the C, a G, an O, or a Q, J has its own kind of shape. Um, then we have these shapes for U. And I'll show you that in just a second. Y and then S has its own kind of thing. So for each type of alphabet insert, they have those things, right? So here's like the um, modern floral, I suppose, because it has like little dots if you would like to mix it up with however uh, you want. Yes, that is so cool. So hopefully I'm making myself uh, clear here because <laughs> basically you're, well, we're going to try it out in just a minute. Um, but you can use these pieces in different ways. And you can mix them all, like if that's what you want to do. But um, hopefully you got an idea from this, kind of what's going on in each type, right, of drop-in die. So, so cute. Okay, so let me think about what I want to do. I'll pull out a card base and a topper and things like that from um, each kit, and we'll try it out. Okay, guys, so I'm going to use the uh, birthday kit first, and I just chose a little stripe paper. How could I resist? And then this uh, beautiful little pink... Uh, topper and I think what I'm gonna do is just a little embossing on this one and that's uh, a way to stamp it and I think it'll be really cute and just pop it on there and you'll have a simple card that looks really nice so I'm gonna put this I am gonna use a precision press because I'm going to use um, a pigment ink and since this has a slight sheen to it I want to make sure that it's gonna stay on there really well so I want to do it a couple times um, and oh before I, I always forget I'm gonna take my embossing buddy. I don't know that they still have this, but there are things like this that you can use to help you take static away from things or um, to help you when you emboss that you don't get your uh, powder just stuck everywhere. Um, you know, I'll cross my fingers. And then I'm gonna use Hip Hip Hooray, I think. I think it's really cute. And they are two separate things, so if you wanted to stamp them into two different colors or do whatever you like, I'm just going to eyeball this and place it where I think it'll look nice. So hip hip and then hurry needs to move over just a little bit. And since I did that I'm gonna go ahead and get a little more of this down. Let's see here. Hip hip. Hooray. And I'm just gonna take a minute to place it nicely. think that's good right there so I'm gonna just pick that up of course it's gonna come off and that's fine what I'm gonna do is stick that back where it belongs there and I'm just gonna use this gold pigment ink like I said if I have to stamp it a couple times that's what I'll do it depends on your ink really so let's give that a nice little push oh where is my little guy? Here he is. <laughs> I put it in front of me and I moved it somewhere else. Of course I did. Ooh, that's actually pretty nice and juicy. You know what? I think, I think I'm good. Okay. Well, maybe another one. Now that I picked it up and looked at it, I'll do it one more. Uh, 
And since that's a pigment ink, it will just grab onto um, my clear embossing powder. No problem. And I did, you know, use that embossing buddy. I mean, using clear powder is not the biggest deal because it's clear. <laughs> but um, it is nice to have that. I'm going to do it again in the opposite direction. Oopsie. Just to make sure I have a nice coating of this stuff. And I flick the back. Yeah, not bad. All right. And the reason I use coffee filters, I can just use it as a little funnel and pour it right back in the little jar. I'm going to hit this with my heat gun. And the trick with that is to just keep it moving. Once it changes color, um, just keep it moving. I got to go plug this guy in. I'll be right back. So what I was saying is once you see it changes in consistency, just move to the next letter or area. Um, even the hooray is already getting a little bit from hitting up here on top. So as soon as you see that, just keep moving on, okay? I think we're good. I'm gonna let that set up for a minute and I'll be back. Okay, so it's gonna be just like this. I was just waiting for that to set up because sometimes, I don't know if you can actually mess it up, but it feels kind of warm and gooey still. So I just like to let it sit for a minute. I'm just gonna use some dimensional adhesive on the back of this to pop it up. Of course, if you're just like using like a 3D glue gel or something like that, then you know, just go for it or foam pads, of course, whatever it is that you like or just stick it down flat. That's <laughs> always another option there. And I'm gonna orient it right in here. So quick and sweet. And we have our envelope perfectly coordinates. Look at the pink and the pink, I love it. And I'm gonna finish it off with a few uh, rhinestones since we have these little goodies here. Um, let's go with the medium size and the smaller one. And again, super random is what I like to do, but however you like to do them. I put one here, and then maybe a small one like here, and another one like in here. Just a little bit random like that, and then I'll put another down over here on this side. I just kind of like that triangle kind of look. It doesn't have to look exactly the same. You know, I'm going to bring it a little further. Okay, there. And maybe one here, and one here. So we have a cute little card ready to go. All right, let me get some paper so we can do, I think I'm gonna do like a monogram. Well, you know what? Mother's Day's coming up, isn't it? Okay, I'll be right back. I think I'll do mom, because that's a sweet one to uh, do with uh, the alphabet letters, and I think it'll look really nice with a little plaque behind it. So I'll be right back. Hey. Yeah, so from the butterfly set, I grabbed that card base. It's so lovely. Just classic. I love that stripes and the beautiful flowers. And I grabbed this guy because I think um, that'll work out real well just for a little background to our letters. And I just grabbed some pink paper and whatever pink is on here it looks, um, I think it's echoed in these two pieces. So I think what I'll do is, I'm trying to think if I want the lighter color on top. I think so. Okay, so what I'm going to do is cut out these letters in the lighter pink. So we have M... And then we're going to use two of M, of course. So we have M, and then O, and then I'll run the M again right through there. And again, you can use the smaller, um, I'm going to cut this big enough so that I can get all my other letters, my last letter on here. Mm, it's, sometimes I eyeball it a little too small, so I think that's, that'll be good right there. Um, you can use the um, little folder that came with it, but I'm just going to use this folder here. Oh, some pieces in there from the last time I used it. <laughs> Let's do that. Okay, so I'll run this through and then I'll run through the M and then we will play with the inserts. I think that'll be a lot of fun. Okay, so I'll do that. I'm going to run through the same letters, of course, out of the dark pink. I'm not going to use the inserts on the dark pink, but I will use them on the lighter pink letters. But I will be right back once everything's cut out. Okay, so we have all our letters. And, you know, we'll um, put our tops on there in just a minute. So cute. I think that'll be good because it will raise them up on there. And like I said, I think I'm going to go with the light color on top. And you can kind of play with it 
you know, if you if I change my mind and want the darker color on top, which I really do like. Okay, let's go darker color on top. I know you guys are at home. No, yes, sir. <laughs> I love when you guys leave me comments saying, oh, I was telling you, you didn't hear me. <laughs> um, okay. Um, so again, for these letters, if you look at the guide, you have certain pieces that you would use for that. So like for the O, um, I love this with a little, I think I'm gonna use this one. And you know, do you wanna just use it on this side? Do you wanna put it on both sides? I don't, I don't see that you can't do that. But um, I, I assume the intention is it's on the one side. Let me um, grab my little instructions here. Oh, here it is. Well, as far as the Starburst decorative dies, the Ivy decorative dies, and then modern floral decorative dies. So hopefully that makes sense to what I was trying to say earlier, <laughs> that they have their little, um, the Starburst all looks about the same there. And this one has like little kind of like Ivy leaf or little leaves. And this one just has different types of floral type things going on with a little geometric pattern here too. But that's why you can mix and match and do whatever you like. Um, yeah. Okay. So I am going to do that. I'm going to place it right there. It looks like that's where it goes. I think the O is perfectly circular, so it doesn't really matter where you put it. And I'll hold that down. And that was from, I think, the floral. So I think for the M, I'm just trying to see, because you, you can use whatever you like. Again, you have all these little dots, this little geometric pattern one. This one has a little floral on the side. Oh. Of course. Oh, you know what I'll do? I'll switch it up. So I'll use these guys. But on one of the M's, I'll use this one. And on the other M, I'll use this other one with the little flower. Okay? So again, just tape that down and run them through. I'll be right back. All right. And I run them all through together at the same time. Oh, look how cute this is. And I'm just, oh, you can paper piece that back in. You know, on another, that's another way to use these actually. Cause let's say you have these little pieces, you know, and where'd that guy come from like here? And let's say you had also cut it out in black or something. So then you can take this piece and pop it back in. So you have a black letter with a little pink uh, flower popped back in there or however you like, ah, that's so cute. Nope, oh, just another idea. All right, so what I'm gonna do is uh, glue these together. And just easy enough. Let's get this over here. And then we're gonna get it all assembled with some dimensionals and things. So I think that'll look really lovely. Okay, I'm lining them up perfectly, but I suppose if you really wanted to drop shadow them, you could probably drop shadow them too. You know? So even though this one has like... When you go to put them together, you can offset it a little bit and have your little drop shadow. You know? So it's off a little bit of pink here, but it's still covering that area. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so I have these all uh, layered up, and then you went ahead and put the um, dimensional adhesive on the back just to um, have that ready for you guys. The carrier's still on there, so I'm just testing this out. Yeah, I think that'll be cute. So I think what we're gonna do is stick down this guy. And if you wanna pop this up and the letters up, you know, go for it. I'm just gonna keep this flat and then I'll pop up the other part of it. So really cute, really simple. So what I'm seeing about these card kits is that um, it's a great way to make a cute and easy card. And then if you have anything in your stash that you want to pull out to just um, take it to the next level, then you have that. So it's really sweet because everything's color coordinated. It looks really nice. Let's pull this about there. And then I normally would start with the middle letter just because that makes it easier to, um, to kind of gauge where you're putting everything. So like right here is... My o. And then I'll take the carriers off. I'll be so right the back. Carriers taken off of here. And I'm just gonna eyeball as far as left and right. But if you want to be a little more accurate up and down, or you want them, you, know, you can bring out a ruler and just kind of put it in a place where you know, like I'm lining it up on this line here. 
So my ruler is straight. This is kind of like a plastic ruler, so it has some thickness to it, so it can just bump up against that. And then as far as left and right, as long as you do it the same on either side, you know, the same distance, you'll be good. So I think I'll put that one there. So just as far as I put that, and you can use your ruler to help you gauge that, but I'm just kind of eyeballing it. And just about... All right, super sweet. And then of course I have my oh, coordinating goodness. envelope. I have it. <laughs> so there you go. Really sweet, really quick put together and um, they look adorable. So thanks for watching guys. I hope they gave you some ideas of how to use these, um, how to dress them up a little bit. And uh, I'll have the links for you guys again if they're available and when they're available, they will be there. And keep an eye out. I'll continue making uh, videos for the new items that are Super cute. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much, Diary Press, for sending these items for my review. And I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now.